Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman and I'm here today once again to bring you another how to build. This time we are working on Ix, the supersonic spy. Last time I asked you guys would you rather see Regron or Ix and you guys voted pretty closely. Ix only managed to beat Regron by one vote. You Regron fans don't worry though, you'll have another chance to vote for him at the end of this episode so stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get back to Ix and we'll start with her legs. Alright, starting with the legs, these are the parts you'll need. Anytime you see the parts laid out like this, as usual, feel free to pause the video and gather everything you see here and build what you can. To start with, take this Mata foot, like this, put a three long axle on one side, then take this bent Technic connector like this, stick it just in the bottom of the hole like that, and then push the, uh, push the plus rod all the way through. Just like that. Then go ahead and grab two of these half pin uh, stud pieces, put them on like that, and then go ahead and take this Technic connector piece, put two, uh, two long axles on the side, and then stick that onto the back of the foot like that. Round it off with a uh, stud pin and a cheese slope just like that. And then add two of these Technic connectors on either side, like that, connected with a four-long axle, like so. Then go ahead and grab one of these uh, system brick pieces, I think they're called headlight bricks. And then just stick that right in the gap in the model foot, like that. And it should stick perfectly fine, like that. And with friction that won't come out. Alright, now let's do the lower leg. You'll need a lime green metro limb piece with a little tire around the top like that. Go ahead and take that and this assembly right here with the five long uh, axle on it. Two of these Technic lift arm pieces and a silver bow rock eye. Stick that all the way through the back hole, the back bottom hole of the uh, metro limb. Then take this double pin and uh, axle hub thingy. Stick that through the top hole like so. Then go ahead and take this Rakshi foot piece. Feel free to fill that in with a washer. Then through the back hole of the Rakshi foot, just put that axle all the way through. And then go ahead and top it off with a hand connector and fill in the ball joint with any kind of, you know, single ball joint piece. And then next, this is a design you guys have seen before. This is the uh, my really simple custom limb design that I first showed you guys in how to build Hellrix. Uh, go ahead and build this assembly here twice with these Technic connectors and hand connectors. Then take this double pin Technic connector like that and stick them on either side like so. Then go ahead and add this ball joint right in the middle like that. And then top it off with a Hero Factory or CCBS armor piece like so. This time take this, T this pneumatic T piece and stick it in the top uh, plus rod hole, or, you know, lightsaber rod hole of the of the thing, and it should snap into the, uh, the hand connector there a little bit. Then go ahead and take this Technic uh, connection piece with the two long pin and the two long axle, stick that in the very top hole, and then right on the top take this bionicle dagger piece with a little extender on it. These are her daggers, and since I never showed really showed her using them and only on her hips I decided let's just show you how to build those at the same time as her legs. And that's her upper leg. Go ahead and grab the lower leg and snap them together at the joint right here. And then snap the, the ankle right down here. And that's how you build her legs. Moving on we will do her arms next. Alright, time for the arms. These are the parts you'll need. To start with, this is just a real quick uh, Gringat hand design with a little Technic connector on the side. I've shown you how to build these guys before, so if you uh, don't know how to build one of these yet, go ahead and check out any of my other tutorials that use this hand design. Uh, now for the lower arm, this is just a simple CCBS construction, but I have this little tire here. And go ahead and attach this uh, the shell just on like that and to get the effect with the rubber band just take a regular green bull rock rubber band 
hook it around the end of the armor like so. Twist it once and then hook it around the other end of the armor. And then on the inside just pull it over the, uh, the socket joint right there. And it should create that effect. And for the upper arm, uh, go ahead and start with this Anika torso, or Anika neck piece. Put one of these thicker tire pieces over it so it thicks it out. Then go ahead and attach this, um, this green Technic connector like so. And then attach this Bionicle Stars Gresh foot to the top like that. Oh, and real quick, I forgot to mention these two lightsaber rods right here. These are cut lightsaber rods. This one is exactly two and a half long, so half a length longer than a two long pin. And then this one's four long, so. And those are actually really precise measurements that need to be cut to, so just keep that in mind. Take the longer of the two, stick them through, like all the way through the uh, two long pin at the bottom here, like so. Then go ahead and attach this um, hand connector here with the Borak eyes, and these are the new, the new trans green Borak eyes, by the way. The uh, the axle only goes half a length in there, but that's fine. It doesn't actually need to go fully in there. In fact, it, I I need to use a too long pin here anyway. Take a uh, half sized Technic lift arm, attach it to the outside like so. And then go ahead and set that down. You're going to take the two and a half length um, cut lightsaber rod here, then a stud pin with a stud on the end. Stick it all the way into the stud pin, like so. And then take this Anika armor piece and just stick the stud pin all the way through, like that. And then set that down. We're going to take the original part and then these greeble pieces. This uh, one by two plate here will stick onto the side of the uh, hand connector there, and if you didn't know, that's a technique you can use with the old hand, con hand connector pieces. Then these two thin uh, 1x3 skid plates, they, uh, they go ahead and just slot right in like that. So just drop them in, like so. And then, last but not least, take your Nike armor piece, and then put the uh, pin through this hole in the Technic lift arm. And make sure you have your thumb here so you can keep that pin from pushing back out. And it should snap into place. Just like that. And then go ahead and push that back in on the other side. And that's her upper arm. Go ahead and attach this uh, CCBS piece down here. And then the hand to that one. And that's how you build her arms. Alright, moving on, we will work on the torso. Alright, to begin with, to construct Iax's torso, you need to construct these simple things. These are just little lime green tail pieces from like Power Miner sets. They have these uh, fancy new uh, Technon connectors here with the pins that go straight into the pin hole. You also need this system construction here, which is a 1x3 four uh, curved slope piece and then just fill in the underside like so and you also need this construction of Technic connectors like so and half pin half axles and then go ahead and attach a uh, Bionicle Stars uh, Gresh armor piece on like so and we will move on alright and for these next sections we're going to be assembling some Technic so let's start with this little Mictorin body. We put a uh, we put some caps over the uh, pins right here, and go ahead and attach a half pin, half axle up there. Then we take a Vaki waist, put two uh, half pin, half studs in the middle holes of the Vaki waist, as well as this Technic connector and a four long pin going through like that. Go ahead and, this, and then attach them together like so. Then for the rest of the torso, we're going to need to assemble it just like this. So go ahead and take, go ahead and a, and attach this uh, Technic connector on like so. This whole construction here. Then take these connections and slide them all the way through that piece, and then have them hooked together onto the side of the Vaki waist like that. 
Then on the upper half, take this Mata neck piece and two half pin half axles. Stick them into the side of the Technic beam, like so. These are sometimes a little tricky. There we go. Then go ahead and attach the other one, like so, with uh, two long pins and this little stud detail on the inside. Then go ahead and attach this Technic connector up on the top like so, and then cap it off on the other side with all these Technic lift arms. And that's that section of the torso done. Let's give you a look around. All right, and we will move on. All right, for this section of the torso, you will need these pieces. Go ahead and attach them like so. Take these uh, Technic connections and stick them on like this and like this. Going all the way down. Then take these two pieces, connect them like so. Like that. And then attach them together like this. Then on the top, take a uh, plate piece and one of these little detail pieces like so. And attach them like that. No, like that. And attach them like that. Alright, and I built I built them the same, but one of them needs to be mirrored, so go ahead and rebuild one of those the other way around. Alright, for this section, go ahead and gather these pieces. To start with, let's take these two lift arms, stick them together, and then these two Technic connector, connections with the four long axles with the stoppers on the ends. Stick them on either side, all the way down the, uh, the lift arm like that, and then set that down. Now for this middle piece, take this uh, lift arm T piece, go ahead and attach a Mata neck piece on the back, on the other side of this stud, and then go ahead and attach these two uh, angle 5 connection pieces, like so, and set that down. Next take the jetpack and the two constructions we built already, slide that all the way down on that side, and then on this side, uh, these should be pointed upwards like this, and then facing this way, go ahead and attach them in like so, so that you get this effect. And then go ahead and slide this uh, three long pin with the stud on the end. I have a one by one brick and a smooth plate on top of that. Go ahead and slide that all the way down the middle of the whole construction. And then on the inside, take these two angled Technic lift arms and stick them onto the uh, exposed pins. Just like so. All right, and that's that part. Moving on. All right, this is the last part of the torso here. Go ahead and start by, uh, well, first I'll show you how I tied this rubber band to the uh, Nuva shoulder piece, like, like so. Uh, go ahead and, and line them up correctly, and then slide the one end of the rubber band through the hole in the uh, shoulder, like so. Then uh, go ahead and wrap the hole over the other shoulder and then just pull it tight. And that's how you tie them on like so. And then just have them wrap around the corner like that. Alright. For, uh, for the chest part, go ahead and attach these together in like this. And this is a uh, classic design by a lot of uh, bionicle mockists over the years. In fact, we're actually going to do it the other way. So the rubber band goes on the inside like this. So you have the uh, the uh, plus rods going on the inside of the Nuva chest piece. Go ahead and jam a, uh, a regular size washer in there. And then have the plus rod go into the washer. All right, so you get something like that. Now, we'll set that down for now. Um, go ahead and attach these pieces together like so. As you can see, uh, that's the arrangement of the holes on these guys. 
go ahead and attach them together like that. And then we're going to take these, this whole uh, piece here, attach this connection to the inside like so. So it slides on that uh, plus rod, just like so. Then we're going to try and move these out of the way. I'm desperately trying to say words that I don't want to say on camera. Go ahead and attach these pieces together like so. Like that. And then uh, the corners right here need to go underneath the hand connector. That's one of the important parts. So make sure they stay under the hand connector. And then go ahead and attach this piece, which is another one of those fancy new pieces. Slide that all the way through like that. Down the center. And it should snap into place like so. And then as long as the corners are under the, uh, the hand connector there, everything should say, stay lined up perfectly. And that is how you build that section. Now we will show you how to put everything together. All right, so go ahead and gather up all the sections of your torso, and this is how you put them all together. So to start with, let's take this big giant chunk right here and go ahead and attach these two uh, tail pieces on the uh, outer holes of the Vaki waist at the bottom there, just like that. And uh, bring them up roughly to about here and then have them splay outwards like that for now. Uh, then go ahead and take this section here, this whole section, and then right here you're going to want to put that that pin and that hole, and you're going to want to put that pin in this hole. So go ahead and merge those two pieces together, just like so. Now we can go ahead and push these uh, tail pieces, I'm not sure what else to call them, in like so. So you get something like that. Then go ahead and uh, attach these pieces. So I told you to mirror one of these before. This is what they should look like. And uh, on this connector on the inside, go ahead and attach this axle. So slide that all the way down like so. And then do it on the other side. And then uh, you may have to work around these two guys a little bit in order to get them flush but that's how those go on uh, I'll go ahead and attach this greeble piece on the inside like that of those se two sections there we go so make sure these are pinched into the inside there and that should make these go down all the way all right and uh, next we'll take this this whole section here and uh, the plus rod on the jetpack should go into that hole right there, and then all four of these pins should go into the adjacent holes on the jetpack. So go ahead and line those up and snap them all together. Like so. It should click all into place relatively easily. And then go ahead and attach this whole torso piece, or this armor piece, to the uh, Mictorin body piece and on the inside and that is how you build IX's torso one of the more complicated body designs of my mocks but a very nice looking one indeed um, now we will do the head all right now time for the head uh, real quick I'm just going to say right now that I never claim to be a purist mocker and this is just one of the examples For, to attach her little goggles here I have these minifigure hands in the holes on the uh, Miru Nuva but the reason they stay in place is because I got a huge wad of yellow sticky tack in there so uh, it's not like I'm modding pieces or anything but it's still kind of cheating to get the pieces to stand in there Whatever, I'm fine with it, but yeah, that's that's how I got those to attach there. So, yeah, go ahead and attach some uh, green minifigure hands into the holes of there with some yellow tack. Uh, build a short-brained 
metro head with a three long pin going across and then just add this little washer on the back here and I will show you why here in a second. Uh, go ahead and set that down for now. Take a uh, thin lift arm piece and a robot claw. Stick the robot claw in all the way through there like so and then have it line up like that. Then uh, go ahead and grab the metro head as well as this rubber band here and around the washer there just hold the rubber band for now and then attach the uh, robot claw on like so. And then go ahead and attach a similar piece onto the other side like that. So you have the rubber band sticking out and jiggling around like crazy. And then, uh, as a little added detail, we have this little Indian feather piece from a minifigure that just clips onto that little exposed pin. All right, now go ahead and attach the mask the face like so all right and then last but not least take two of these tiny chain pieces put a lime green stud on the bottom of one and a one of those new trans green studs from the new bionicle sets on the front of the other one then go ahead and attach the uh, the chains onto the inside of each of these, uh, or onto the middle hole in each of these Technic lift arms, like so. And then bring them around the front, like so. And then on the minifigure hands, just attach the chains on like that. So like so. And then just bring the rubber band around and then wrap it over the uh, fins on the mirror nuva and bring it over the chains and hook it over that little uh, notch right there. There we go. So you should get something like that when you're done. And that's how you build her head. Last but not least, and I'm sure you guys have been waiting for it, let's show you how to build her wings. All right, and now finally time for the wings. To start with, I'll show you how to build the place where it connects to her body. So go ahead and go ahead and uh, start with these pieces right here. Uh, attach this Technic piece onto the inside of this armor piece, like so. Closing it up like that. Then go ahead and attach the Vaki waist piece onto the inside, like that. And then on top, take this Technic connection, slide the whole thing together like so. And then fill in the inside with a three long axle. That's how you build that section. Now, for this, you'll need two of these. This is just a simple uh, CCBS bone construction right here, so set that aside. Now for the actual wing part, uh, first build this whole section you see right here. These are some Technic pieces that are lined up like so. So I'll give you a second to look at that. All right. So arrange those all together like that. Then go ahead and set that down. For this part, you'll need these Technic connectors. Put them on like so. Then attach this piece, going all the way through this, like that. Then have it splayed on, on either side, like so. Then do, the, do a similar thing with these. Reattach them like that. Go ahead and push that pin on out like that. Then attach a Hordika neck onto that, like so. Attach that on the other side with a very useful piece. You should get something like that. Go ahead and set that down. Next, uh, you will need to construct four of these guys. And for these Technic connections, I actually use cut uh, lightsaber rod pieces. Uh, you don't need to use those, but if you want to get them as close together as you see here, if you want to get them as close together as you see here, then you 
kind of have to have them twist in place and it's impossible with this design unless you use cut lightsaber rods so go ahead and build four of those and these are obviously the Uxar wings from the Bionicle 2016. Go ahead and take two skid plates and then on that thing we constructed earlier stick them on like so so that they're half hanging off and half hanging on like that Then on the inside we're gonna take uh, all four of these guys and attach them like so so in my version I have them arranged green dark gray dark gray light gray like that you just simply attach them onto the studs like that and then on the other side just simply cap off the other end with another skid plate and that's how you do that and they make excellent posable uh, joints as well as that so go ahead and set that down for the next part we're going to take these a combination of the two pieces we made earlier. Now take this whole Technic uh, assembly right here and then go ahead and attach that onto the inside like that. Take a three long axle and slide that all the way down on the inside. And then attach this whole piece on like so. And then take this other three long axle with the two washers on it, stick it on the bottom of that one and then cap the other end off with the other side. And that should all just clip down over the whole thing. Alright, go ahead and take this little vent greeble and attach it onto those two open pins, or open studs I should say. And then last but not least, uh, on the very end, attach two of these Kopaka Anika wings. Or not Anika, what am I saying? Mystica. No, Fantoka. Fantoka, yes. Attach that little Technic uh, attachment on like so, and then cap it off on the other side with another wing, and that is how you build for wings. Last but not least, we'll need to assemble the uh, whole construction, I guess, and that just simply connects with socket and ball connections, and those friction pieces help support the wings as well. And then obviously you'll need two wings because you can't fly with just one. So, attach them both together like so. And that is how you build IX's full wing jetpack combination. I'll go ahead and show you how to attach it to her torso real quick. So, if you take her torso here, the, uh, the exposed pin here on the, on the Aneka torso, that should connect right here on the on the torso so if you connect them together like so it'll create a nice sturdy connection that's easy to remove without breaking the whole mock apart and there you have it now I guess let's show you how to put all her limbs together so go ahead and attach everything you see here now go ahead and gather up all of the uh, the limbs and the head of the mock, and then on the in on the bottom, go ahead and attach the, uh, the two legs. Like so, and the arms on the shoulders, obviously. Now, if you lose a, uh, a piece like that, you can simply just jam it back in there and push it down by pushing on the Anika armor. And last but not least, the head. And that is how you build Ajax. Alright guys, and that is it. That is how you build Ajax. If you liked the video, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, all that jazz. For our next how to build, would you rather see Gamoth, the gatekeeper, or Regron, the gravitational general? Post your vote in the comments below, and whoever has the most votes by next time will be the next how to build. If you don't like the choices, feel free to check out the Order of Masanumi Files playlist and vote for your own. 
feel free to use any of the designs you see in this mock with or without credit, I do not care either way. If you do use a design, however, or you choose to build your own version of this mock, please feel free to share it with me. Post a link to your creation down below in the comments and I will feature you at the end of the video with the rest of the awesome people. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next How to Build.